The range of services that we use on any network are associated with a particular port. Ports provide a multiplexing service for multiple services or multiple communication sessions at one network address. Some of well-known ports, also known as system ports, are those from 0 to 1023. Let's begin. How we can easily scan a port in any network using a tool called GenMap. GenMap is basically a GUI version of Tool and Map, which is a command line tool for scanning ports. To get this tool, we will Google GenMap and open the first link, and also Google NMap, which will lead us to the same site regardless. Navigate to the download page and download the correct installer for your OS. Mine is Linux and I have already done this. So running from the terminal as super user, the GUI launches. To find out the possible IP range of your network, you will do ipconfig in Windows command or ifconfig in Linux or Mac terminal and it should yield similar result. So I am over Ethernet and my IP address is 192.168.0.102. With a subnet max of 255.255.255.0, meaning my subnet is slash 24. So my target network will be 192.168.0.1 slash 24 or 192.168.0.0 slash 24. And I will do a quick scan plus. Now, the command to accomplish this appears, which, if you were a network expert, could directly run on a terminal and would yield the same result. But GUI is always better if you are unclear about what is going on in the tool. GenMap starts and map and takes some time to go through the network. And if a host exists on an IP, does the quick scan plus on the host. After the scanning is finished, you will see a list of a live host in your target network. And now, I will show you the hazards of having an open port unknown to you. This is where the fun begins. I will quickly clear the terminal and let's go for a few of the ports on each device. One nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one is my DDWRT router, and I will SSH into the DDWRT on port twenty two. Once logged in with a password that is obvious, and most of us do not change in such devices unknowingly. Anyone can have a root access and mess up the device. Same goes for the Telnet. One nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one zero zero is my access point, 
and on port 80. It is running its web UI for management whose default password I haven't changed at all. 192.168.0.101 is my Raspberry Pi also whose default password and username. I was too lazy to change so you can log in with Pi as username and Raspberry as password over SSH. I also have a web server and a Samba server as NAS running on the Pi. And for the convenience of not having to remember all different passwords, the username is again Pi and password is Raspberry. Now, the iPhone at 192.168.0.103 is when port scanning becomes serious still. The iPhone 5 is jailbroken and normally people don't realize there is an SSH service running in the jailbroken phone. The default username is root and password is alpine which I have changed since I use it when I am on different network outside my house. And once you get a cell, you own the phone now. So the takeaway from this video is scan your network for the ports and try to figure out what is going on in your network. If some ports are suspiciously open with actively going on, Maybe you are correct.